Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the analysis of Yuleno TV. I hope you well from whatever you're watching this channel. Now, I want to take you to this video of when William Bruto was leaving or departing for the U.S. If you check that video, you will see one of those people who is accompanying William Bruto is Rigadi Gachago and that is the way it's supposed to be because Rigadi Gachago is the second in command and that when William Ruto is leaving the country is the one who is supposed to to be in charge of the uh, the affairs of the country until William Ruto comes back and then I'd like to take you to this other video where William Ruto has arrived from the trip of the US now if you look, look at that clip very well then you must have noticed that Rigadi is missing. Now, now the expectation is that just the same way he escorted William Bruto when William Bruto was departing for the US, even in this video, we were supposed to see Rigadi Gachagua in the accompaniment of people like Kithuri Kindiki and those other leaders. But you see, going by the video, Rigadi is missing. Now, I want, I want us to explore some of the reasons why we think Rigadi Gachago could have skipped that very important meeting or very important reception of uh, William Bruto. But before we go further on to that part, please like this video. I've noticed that so many people forget to like our videos. Please do so to, ele to enable YouTube to share our video to so many other people. And please subscribe to our channel if you don't subscribe before. And to existing subscribers, thank you so much for making this channel grow. Because without you, this channel cannot grow. Rigadi was supposed to be there receiving William Bruto probably and briefing William William Bruto the moment William Bruto alights from that aeroplane. But just like I told you when I was starting this analysis, he was missing, and the clip has literally exposed that part. The political temperature that has been there ever since William Bruto left for the U.S and especially before even him going to the U.S., has been one that has exposed a deeper fallout within UDA. So the fact that Rigadi has not appeared uh, in that amongst the people who received William Bruto already point to this growing uh, division or the fallout that is already being seen in UDA. Earlier on, I saw certain event in the Rift Valley, whereby in that event, there were so many other leaders of the Rift Valley who appeared to be defending Rigadi Gachago, even going to an extent of telling Rigadi Gachago not to be afraid that the people who talk bad about him, they, they should not even scare him. I mean, that is something that I managed to pick from some of the statements which were there. There was also another statement from Murkomen, who is also accused, you know, of foiling division within the Ruto regime. And Murkomen also talked about uh, uh, ignoring those people who do political bickering. <laughs> What we never expected was this arrangement where Rigadi Gachagua had to miss. We could have thought of Rigadi Gachagua being sick if at all we had not seen Rigadi Gachagua among the people who are in Rift Valley. But because Rigadi Gachagua appeared there and managed to give a speech, now we are ruling out the fact that Rigadi could be sick. Let's also think of a scenario where probably Rigadi Gachagua didn't know whether William Ruto was coming to Kenya. Is that possible? I don't think that is possible because there were videos about uh, William Ruto leaving the U.S. And now the expectation was that he would arrive in Kenya after a certain number of hours, probably 16 hours, you know, 15 hours, 
uh, 17 hours. So that estimation already would have told Rigathi Gachago that William Ruto will arrive at a particular time. Now, let's also think about these offices, office of the, uh, the, of the president and the office of the, the deputy president. These are offices which work hand in hand, you see, because uh, the, 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 the work of uh, the the, the deputy president is to complement the work of the president. So now the expectation is that the office of the deputy president must have known that William Ruto was arriving and they must have been briefed. So also we are ruling out the fact that maybe the office of the deputy president did not know or was not aware about this arrival of William Ruto. So what is this that could have caused Rigathi Gachagua to skip I could as well think of a scenario where maybe Rigathi Gachago feels an awivu. I mean, how William Ruto was treated in the U.S. And maybe he would have expected that they would go, the two of them, to the U.S. to be given that kind of treatment. But because he was not there, we can as well think that Rigathi feels that maybe an injustice was done to his office. What if that is the case? But does the Constitution allow the two of them to live outside the country of course yes there's a time william ruto had toured i don't know it was in china or or saudi arabia but he had gone to another country and then at the same time regard gachago went to germany to represent william ruto and then uh, that time musala mudavadi went to the uk so the three uh, leaders are all of them travel outside the country. So the scenario where William Ruto is, can travel to the U.S. and Rigathi Gachagua does not travel to the U.S., I think that can also be one of the reasons why Rigathi Gachagua did not feel uh, well treated. Maybe he would have thought that he, he would have maybe wanted that this trip of the U.S. he be in it so that Wakati Wanako received, Venyoliko received, then he's part to it. Is that the case that saw Rigathi Gachago skip this reception, I am beginning to think that that could be one of them. Also, this political bickering that has been seen or witnessed ever since uh, William left for the U.S. can be another factor. Maybe this is one way of uh, uh, rebelling or rather rebelling because even a citizen can uh, protest by skipping certain events for example if, if william ruto is has organized an event here in uh, maybe somewhere at uh, nyayo garden then people's people fail to show up you know that is another way of protesting you are protesting by staying away from that event so that the message that is being received by the person is organizing that is that people are not happy so maybe regardi has found another way of protesting telling william ruto indirectly that uh, what you're doing to me i don't think is okay so I think this is some way of uh, protesting. Maybe the best thing to say here is that Rigadi Gachagua was protesting. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen, about this sudden skipping of Rigadi Gachagua from attending William Ruto's event, uh, from, from receiving William Ruto? Just call below the comment section and you can just offer your take regarding what you think and why you believe Rigadi Gachagua could have skipped William Ruto's reception. He skipped that very, very crucial uh, a meeting point so ladies and gentlemen perhaps if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed take one second and subscribe like this video so until you catch up again stay safe and stay blessed